Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fan YouTube channel. Today we're solving lead code 143, reorder list. You are given the head of a singly linked list. This list can be represented as L0 to L1 to dot 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 LN minus 1 to LN, representing the N nodes of this linked list. We want to reorder the list to be returned as L0, then LN, so basically the last element, then this element, then LN minus 1, uh, L2, and on and on. And we're not allowed to modify um, the values in the nodes, we just have to modify the nodes. So basically, uh, where they point to, I guess, their next pointer. So let's look at a very basic example where we have the linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So let's apply the logic here. So we always get the first element, so this one, and then we get the last element, so this 6. Then we get the next element from the front, which is a two, and then we get the next element from here. Um, so this is five, and then we get the next element three, and then we get four, and this is our new linked list. Now notice how here, this bit, so this six, this five, and this four, is the same as the half of the array, only backwards. And this is actually the crux of the problem, is kind of realizing that the way that it gets ordered is obviously, and we can see it from the example here, is half of the array, um, essentially the back half, is going to be kind of merged here, and it's going to be done backwards. So if we could just find these two linked lists, so if we could do the first half, which represents obviously the first half of the array, and then we had the second half of the array, then we could be in business. But remember that actually the six comes before the five, which comes before the four. Um, so these numbers are in reverse. So if we can find the second half of the array here, uh, sorry, the, the linked list, and we can reverse it. So we can say six points to five points to four. Then all we have to do is now that we have both half of the array, uh, sorry, the linked list, all we need to do is just merge them. And the way that we're gonna merge them is we're always gonna take one element from this top one, so we'll call it the first half, this is the first half, and this is the second half. We're gonna take the, an element from the first one first, then we're gonna take the next element from the second half, and then we're gonna go to the next element in the first one, and then so on and so forth, and we'll actually get our answer. So that really kind of tells us what we need to do here. And the first thing is to find the second half of the linked list, and we can do that quite simply. Uh, the second half would be to reverse this second half, and then the third thing we need to do is merge um, first half uh, with um, second half, and then that is our final answer. Now, obviously, reversing a linked list, this is a simple, easy question on leak code. Um, you know, there's not really too too much trouble here. Uh, merging two lists is pretty simple. Obviously, we know which one we want to merge. So we just move our kind of pointers um, accordingly. It's actually this first part, which is kind of tricky. And the way that we're going to do this is let's think about if we have the numbers one to 10, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, and 10, right? And what we're going to do, oops, um, is let's pretend that we're going through this list and we're gonna have one um, person who goes two at a time each time and we're gonna have one person who only goes one at a time and let's see where they'll get to um, by the time the first person hits the end. So for example, if this person in red is actually the person going two, so they're gonna go from one to three, then they're gonna go to five to seven to nine, actually we should probably start at zero because I think it, this uh, better works with zero. Let's see now, so it's gonna perfectly, okay, zero to 10, sorry. So you'll start at zero, you'll go to two, you'll go to four, you'll go to six, you'll go to eight, and then you'll go to 10. So in total, it takes you one, two, three, four, five hops to make it to 10. Now let's say that we have a person two in green, who's only oops, who's only going to go one hop at a time, right? So, in the five hops that it takes this person to get to the end, person two will take one. Oops, he'll go from zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four, and then four to five, and the other person will finish. And what you'll notice here is that if one person goes twice as fast as the other one, they will complete the entire range by the other 
the, the time the other person is halfway through. So this is actually how we're going to process our linked list. We're going to have one fast pointer, which instead of going um, one uh, hop at a time, they're actually going to go two. And then we're going to have one slow pointer, which is going one. And by the time the fast pointer hits the very last element, the slow pointer will actually be at the middle. So that way we'll know exactly where the end starts. So now that we know that um, we have one pointer at halfway through and we have one pointer at the end, then this will give us the range that we need to reverse. And we also know where the middle is such that we can take this first half and merge it with the second half. So that's basically how we're going to find where the halfway point is, what the elements are that we need to reverse. Uh, so we find the first half of the linked list, we reverse that second half. And then now that we know uh, we have the second half reversed and we know you know where the, the first and the middle is, then we can merge those two and we will finally get our answer. So that's the algorithm. That's how we want to approach it. Slow and fast pointer to actually find the half. We're, we're going to reverse the half using just the very standard um, reverse algorithm for a linked list. And then we're just going to merge them uh, very simply. So let's now actually go into the code editor and type all of this up. We are now in the code editor. Let's type this up. Uh, first thing we want to do, let's just get rid of all this crap to give us some more space, make it easier for you guys to see. Uh, okay, so obviously we can be given a optional um, node. So if it's null, then we can't reorder anything. So we should simply just return nothing. Uh, so if not head, uh, just return nothing for us to do. Um, that's kind of the base case. So the first thing that we need to do, like we said, was to find the middle of the linked list. Now, the way that we're going to do this is I told you we're going to use a slow pointer and a fast pointer. And the slow pointer is going to move through the linked list one at a time. Um, and the fast pointer is going to move two at a time. That way, when the fast pointer hits the end, then the uh, slow pointer will actually only be halfway through because obviously it's um, only going half as fast as the fast pointer. So let's now find the middle of the linked list. So we're going to want to basically keep track of what node our fast pointer and our slow pointer are pointing at. Uh, and in the beginning, they're going to be equal, they're going to start at the head. Now what we want to do is we want to essentially move the fast pointer until we hit the end of the uh, linked list. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to say while fast and fast.next, um, we're going to say that the new um, fast is going to equal fast dot next dot next. So obviously, we're going to move two nodes forward. That's why we need to check that the, the fast node exists and that its next node exists so that we can actually call dot next on it. Uh, and then also the slow pointer will also need to move one forward. So we're going to say slow equals slow uh, dot next. And we don't ever have to worry about checking the slow pointer um, because the fast one will take care of the checks because it's already going ahead of us. Um, that way we don't have to worry about slow not being defined because obviously fast has already gone through there. Um, so we know that they already exist. So that is the first part where we found basically the middle of the array. Now we need to basically reverse the second part of the list and essentially kind of just switch it. And we need to do this in place. So the way that we're going to do this is we basically need to keep track of the previous node that we've seen. And we also have um, this is going to equal to none and the current node, uh, which is equal to kind of the slow. So basically, the slow is obviously the halfway point. So we need to basically reverse um, from the halfway point until the end. So we're going to say while cur. So while we haven't basically gone to the end of the list and um, processed it, we basically just need to say cur dot next prev and cur. This is going to equal to prev uh, cur and cur dot next. So basically cur dot next is going to be set to the prev because remember we're flipping it. So we need to swap um, the direction. So the, the next one of our current needs to be now the previous. The previous is now the current and the current, oops, this should be double, this is not, yeah, is gen cur.next. So basically we move all of our items forward and we do this until basically we hit the end of the array uh, at which, or the linked list, at which point we will basically have um, gone through everything. So now the last thing we need to do is simply to merge the two uh, linked lists. So basically we have the first half and the second half, which has now been reversed. And all we have to do here um, is just basically, okay, so the first list 
um, is going to equal to the head. Obviously, that's where it started. And the second um, is going to be stored in prev. So that's basically where we, um, that's the, the head of the, the linked list that we just reverse is going to be stored in prev. Uh, now what we need to do is simply just merge them. So we're going to say while um, second.next. So while there's still something to merge on the second linked list, uh, we want to say first.next. Um, and first is going to equal to second uh, first.next. So basically first.next is going to get equal to the second because obviously second represents the head of the second linked list. So the first next node equals to the head of the next linked list. And then the new first equals to the next uh, node in first.next. So, um, yeah, so essentially, right, if we had one and two, and then five and uh, six, so obviously first.next would now equal to the six because that's what we're setting it. So if second is this, uh, and then the new first is going to equal to first.next, which is this one. So now the list would basically look like that, right? Okay, so uh, that's what we need to do. And then obviously we need to update the second because we now need to um, move that one up as well. So we're going to say second dot next and second. And this is going to basically be um, the same. So in, in this case, we need to set it to the first. Now that we've updated the first, uh, we now need to update um, this here. And then we're going to say second dot next. Okay, so that's all we have to do. And at this point, uh, we actually don't have to return anything. The, the, the code will just return on its own. Uh, and since we're not actually returning anything, we're just modifying it in place, we're just done. Um, so we can run this, make sure we didn't make any bugs and looks good. Let's see, cool, accepted. Wow, beats 100%, interesting. Um, okay, so time and space complexity. Obviously, we have to go through um, this uh, array basically to go through it an entire time to um, find the midpoint, uh, which requires us going through the entire list. Then we also have to reverse the second half of the list. Um, and then we have to also then merge them. But this is all just depending on how long the list is. Uh, so ultimately, our time complexity is just going to be big O of n. And then for the space complexity, like the problem stipulates, we had to um, do this all in place. We don't define any extra variables. We just have some pointers, uh, which are just holding some nodes. Um, so this is like the problem says, we need to do a big O of one. So that is how you solve this problem. Obviously, the first thing we did um, was to find middle of uh, linked list. Then the second part of this was um, reverse the second half. And then the last thing was just to merge to uh, linked lists. So these are all kind of um, leak code problems in and of themselves. So it's a nice one where you can kind of just combine the logic of three different problems. And now you have another problem, much like the rest of leak code, everything seems to stack up on itself and you use prior knowledge to um, solve new questions. So anyway, that's my philosophical rant at the end. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like and a comment it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.